I first came in April of 94. Well, we were in the midst of revival in Augusta, Georgia, and Brother Keith Clark called me and asked me to help him find a building to start a new church in. So I said, sure, where are we going? And he said, Las Vegas. I said, anywhere but Vegas. I don't want to go to Vegas. I don't like Vegas. He said, but you promised me you'd help me. And so I said, okay, I'll give you three days. I'll find you a building and we will go to Vegas. The day I got off the plane, I, uh, started weeping over this city as I walked through McCarran Airport. And when I saw the lights of the city, I just began to weep and cry over the city. And I knew beyond the shadow of a doubt that God was calling me here. The problem was, how was I gonna tell my wife? I knew that there was something stirring within him that was different. You know, I just knew something was fixing to happen. I really didn't dream about here because I really never, you know, even knew about Vegas until he came back and was telling me all about it. It was quite a, quite a transition, but we knew, you know, we were in God's will. Well, the first year, we knocked every door we could knock. We passed out tracks everywhere we could go. And uh, we realized that that was probably not the best outreach method in Las Vegas. Pray, look for prospects and leads, pray every day. And so we began to do that. It was part of our morning prayer time was just to pray for God to send us leads, not souls, leads, just any open door. It began to grow and at the end of five years, we were probably at about 60 people solid. and. Um, and we begin to stabilize that group and from there grow it slowly. Just be sure you keep Jesus first in everything. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Everything else will be added into you. If we keep working in unity, at Praise Tabernacle. If everybody understands, it's not about position, but as everybody works together, God keeps really good score. And if we let Him do that, then the church is gonna to continue to grow. Just keep loving people, bringing people to Jesus, witness everywhere you go, and the church will continue to grow and to thrive. Fasting and praying is the answer to everything. That's our story.